Thanks, Jeff. Um, it's particularly special to receive this award from you, um, a true League of Legends. And as a fellow teacher, it's even more special to receive this award on the same day that one of our former students, Sharice Pryor, is rightly being honored by ACS with the Ruth Goldman Award. Go ahead, Sharice. Um, congrats to all the awardees. It's so humbling to be among you. It is beyond humbling to be given this honor in the name of Abner Mikva. I actually first met him when I was just a little kid when he was running for Congress. My mom had actually volunteered for his campaign. And nearly 40 years later, I became blessed to know him both as a trusted mentor and dear friend when he returned to the law school, as, 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 as Jeff said, as a senior director of the Mandel Clinic. I have nothing but the fondest memories of Ab, the many sessions he'd sit in my office, our one-on-ones, would give me advice, talk about politics, our families. He's simply one of the kindest, most generous souls I've, I've ever this war is also especially meaningful to me as a fellow child of Chicago. My grandparents, um, Southsiders, um, were my greatest heroes when I was growing up and remain so today. I wouldn't be here without their love and life example. Thank you, Granny and Gramps. I, I, I still think of you each and every day. Randolph Stone, who Jeff mentioned, um, who Granny actually goaded me into calling back when I was just a knuckleheaded teenager based on an article that she cut out from the Daily News, hired my young butt to work my dream job with kids in juvenile court as a public defender. Randolph, you are my lawyer mentor and hero. You took a chance on me multiple times in my life. I also wouldn't be here without you. You didn't have to be kind to some punk kid calling you out of the blue, but you were. And it made a difference. I'm deeply grateful to my family, both my blood family and play families. Mom, God rest your soul, dad, who sacrificed so I would have the privilege to go to these fancy schools. Miss Echoes, Cha Cha Reggie, who taught me the meaning of serving somebody and something greater than myself, my boys, my colleagues at the Mandel Legal Aid Clinic and the law school, especially Hershella Conyers, another of my mentors, trial goddess. And, most importantly, my friend. All my students over the many years who continue to make you me prouder than y'all know, I wish I had the time to personally thank each and every one of you. You are responsible for everything that we've accomplished in this clinic. My own law school teachers who taught me the true meaning of lawyering for social change, people like Jerry Lopez, Chuck Lawrence, Mario Matsuda, Bill Ng, the early critical race scholars. Ron Futterman, who took me under his wing, taught me the art of civil litigation and showed me how I could stay true to who I was and do righteous work even in a private law firm. My freedom fighting friends at, in my heart, at, still at the public defender's office. Sheila Betty, Vanessa Del Valle, my consent decree partners, and certainly ACS legends of the future. Most importantly, um, our clients. If there's anything I'm most proud about in our work with the clinic is that we've remained true to this grassroots the ground up vision that Jeff described in this intro and that app model throughout his career. This award represents nothing less than the power of the people. I gotta say, while it represents the power of the people, this award belongs to my wife, Kenyatta. Many of y'all may not know her, but she, since because she hasn't been running the courtrooms for some time, but she's one of the best trial lawyers to ever grace our profession. And I'm not just saying that because I'm her husband. Ask somebody, she's that good. Kenyatta had been kicking ass at the, as a federal public defender for about 10 years when Granny passed, my grandmother passed shortly after our youngest daughter, Asha, was born. And Kenyatta, who knew I was Chicago through and through to my core, also knew that I always dreamed about moving back to California. And she told me, this is your time to chase that dream so that I would never live with the regrets of past never taken. She prioritized my career over her own. And over the strong objection of angry grandparents, our parents, we packed up and took their babies to California. And Kenyatta, who's always had my back and prioritized my career again when I got that call from Randolph Stone to pursue another dream that he and I shared about starting the first law school clinic in the nation that focused on police accountability to return back home to Chicago, the South Side at the UFC. Kenyatta, you are the most brilliant, gifted lawyer in this family. You're more, far more than just physically beautiful. Every step of the way, 
even when I've made it difficult, I know I've made it difficult, love me, sacrifice, and push me to be something more. I love you to the depth of my soul. This is your award. And last, um, Elijah and Asha, our daughters who, no matter how much mess they give their daddy, they're both fundamentally kind to the core and unafraid to stand up and speak out for what's right. They represent what ACS is about. Elijah, like the prophet after whom she was named, messenger of peace and justice, Pops got to brag on this baby is about to begin her first year of law school as a Ruth Tilden scholar at NYU and will one day serve among fellow Black women on the U.S. Supreme Court that we are working to change. And Asha, a poet, actor, writer, and as of a couple of days ago, she tells me a musician, like her Swahili name, which means full of life, full of hope, desire, baby girls also is all about hustle. She's got it. Y'all, as much cruelty, pain, and racism that we continue to experience, I still believe in the human spirit and the fundamental goodness and kindness that I was taught by my grandparents. Elijah and Asha, you are my heart. You're my reason for hope. Each time I look at you, I don't just believe, I know. I know that you will make the world a better place. If there's one thing that I've learned under Abs and Randolph's wings, it's that things don't change unless we make them change. Elijah Nasha, 